Hey guys, I just wanted to show you something um, fun. <laughs> Sorry, I have a weird sense of humour. That happens with me when I wake up in the morning. So this is my hand and this, this is how much I can move it. So I can go from flat, almost flat, to there. And that is hard work. Um, yeah. Thankfully my left hand is currently okay. But uh, some mornings it's both, some mornings it's one or the other. There are some mornings where neither of them are this bad. Those mornings are glorious. But for today, I don't think I'm going to get an awful lot done. So the start of this week went from this hair to this hair to this hair. Well, this colour. To a towel. And while it was curing, I cut the boy's hair too, and we cut off this much. We could make another cat from it. Hey guys, so the, uh, the fruits have gone. It's red again. Oh, I love this red. It's such a lovely colour. It's a mix of two different dyes. One permanent, one semi-permanent. And it's just so shiny. A little bit frizzy at the moment because it needs a cut, but look at the colour of it. I love red hair. Love it. I love it. Uh, hey guys, so um, this is Wednesday, I think it is. Um, and I took my big vacation this morning and is now um, about two o'clock. I just managed to get up and out of bed. It is like I'm in treacle. Uh, trying to keep my eyes open is really difficult. Um, and normally get, no, I have this medication once a week. And it was really bad in the beginning. I was in bed till like 7 or 8 pm. Um, and it got better. But they just upped the dose. And it's now back to hitting me again. Um, I could quite easily fall asleep right now and try not to. Um, another half has been trying to wake me up every half hour since ten. Unsuccessfully, he's hoovered the room that I was in. I've had music and um, lights on. He's been talking to me, he's been touching me, he's been getting me to sit up. And every single time I just go straight back to sleep. And so the same thing will happen tomorrow, but not quite as intense, I guess. Um, so I always lose like two days a week. It was getting better, it was down to like one day a week because I'd got used to the dosage. So I guess until I get used to this dosage, and bear in mind that I started the uh, the other one in January, it's now December. I don't really want another nine, ten months of, of getting used to this dosage, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm now totally useless for today. I may make it to watch something or I may just fall asleep again and here we go. This is all I can do on days like these and it's really frustrating because I want to do stuff and I can't. It genuinely just feels like I'm in treacle. And then, yeah, everything is hard work so I am going to try and stay awake today hey so I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update based on sort of another part of the reason that I'm doing this channel um I'm getting married hopefully depending on how it all works with the virus 
in October. It will be our fourth wedding date. And over the course of the last 18 months, I would say definitely the last year since lockdown, um, the last sort of 18 months with my mobility issues and my pain levels and shielding and steroids and everything else, um, I have put on a considerable amount of weight. I developed a condition called Cushing's, which was a reaction to the high doses of steroids that were in my bloodstream. Um, and that caused even more problems. Um, so I'd been sort of putting weight on weight on. I was trying to do things, but I was in so much pain and blah, blah. And then sort of, it was May, May going into June, in the course of three weeks, and I have photos, I'll pop them up for you so you can see. Um, I put on a huge amount of weight. I must have put on almost a stone and a half in those three and a half weeks, and you can see it in my face. Um, I hadn't changed anything, I hadn't changed my diet, I hadn't changed my exercise, I hadn't changed a single thing. Thanks, kitten. Um, I hadn't changed a single thing, and it just ballooned, and I got really, really scared, and I spoke to the doctors, and I was like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I've been trying to follow a healthy eating diet plan anyway, because, I mean, to be fair, my diet is pretty, it is pretty good, I'll be honest with you, I'll do it what I did in a day video at some point, but I tend to eat a lot of fruit and veg, because I love them, a lot of lean meat, not that many carbs, my issue then is chocolate, sweets and chocolate are my downfall, they are, um, they are definitely my downfall, because the rest of my diet, enough, is pretty simple, um, and pretty good, to be honest, don't get me wrong, I have days where I have like a pork chop and it's got the fat rind on it, and you know, but that's, that's not like every day, so I was really concerned, I went, spoke to my GP over the phone, we had a phone consultation and she was like, right, do you have this, do you have this, do you? so yeah, they, they diagnosed Cushing's, which was problematic, and literally at the same conversation she was like, right, we need to get you off the steroids, because it's because of the steroids, so, um, sorry, I'm tired, I've just done a workout, um, so she said, right, we need to come off the steroids, so we started to reduce my dose, and we got to a point where it was painful, but I could cope, and then we dropped it further, and I just couldn't. I was I was crying. I was in so much pain. My hands so sore and so swollen. And can I just show you? I'm not swearing at you. You see the uh, the the thing that knuckle now. So if I can get it up against a dark background so you can see. Now you can't at this angle. That knuckle is so swollen now that when I held a pen the other day to do some writing, I I got this this huge blister that's now healing. Um. Yeah. So. We were trying to get me off the steroids, which we've got down to as low as possible without me being in pain. So when I spoke to the rheumatologist just before Christmas, they have upped my one of my medications in the hopes that when I see him in the end of January, he'll up it again, and then I can come off the steroids at some point soon, hopefully. But, all that being said, I'm getting married in October. And so, seeing as I'm doing this channel for things to do with my health. I'm going to document my weight loss journey. I'm going to hold myself accountable by making these videos because I want to, you know, be tracking my food, be tracking the exercise, be tracking the water, everything. Um, we've got an awesome new water bottle that I'll show you. I'm in love with it. Um, I know that's sad, but I really am. And so yeah, hopefully this will help me be a little bit more accountable and we can track together how much I lose before we get married, so that'll be fun. So I am currently doing some Zumba, and I am being watched by a creature. The creature in the box. Can you tell I like penguins? I'm not sure if it's obvious or not. I am never going to be able to eat all this. But it's so good, I want to eat the rest of it. No, mine. Mmm. Tasty num nums. There is something lacking on your plate. I don't need veg. <sighs> <laughs> I'm actually surprised you didn't just put rice with it. Tempting. I've got potatoes. Rice I've got with potatoes. everything else. I've got 
I do have an unboxing of this Spoonie box. If you haven't watched it yet, go and have a look. Okay, so as part of my other half's Christmas present, I got him this. So you get a wax sealed envelope. I'm not going to show you the front because it does actually have the address on. It comes through the door. Then get this letter and you have to solve the passcode and you get this little folio with a collection of puzzles in to solve. So once he solves it, he will get the uh, secret message and he loves puzzles and things like that. So this was when I saw it, I knew I had to get it. Um, I will let you know how he gets on with it when he solves them. Won't take me long. He hopes. Four or three. Can you come to help him? Here's just an example of a couple of the clues. I'm not going to show you all of them because I don't want to spoil it. Okay, I got, I got the answer. Let's see if he's got it right. Yep. I don't think you want me to film this, so it's, I've got to check my underwear drawer. You really want me to film that? Yep. Uh-huh. Are you filming now? Oh, no, because everyone's going to see my the mess that I make of my underwear drawer. Cold. Oh, cold, right. Warmer? Yeah. Much warmer, ah, dear. Oh, okay. It's a bag! It's what I've always wanted! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, darling. Cool, you can play. Bring me some tea. Socks. Will these socks fit me, though? I hope so. Because you're going to explain this, right? No, I'm not no, going to explain it at all. It, no. <laughs> hey, everyone. So, as Part of my Christmas present from a friend of mine, I got this witch Lego head bricks piece. And I love little cute bits of Lego. I'll show you my Lego bits in a second. But you could get the Valentine's Bee, the Easter Bunny, the witch, the turkey, Santa and Mrs Claus. So they got me the witch. I am so excited to build this. So excited. I do have a smudge because, you know, she came to say hello. And am I just being, am I just being an income poop? And off she goes. Um, yes is the answer. I'm guessing I'm just going to peel the back a bit. There we go, that works. Okie dokie. So I love making these little Lego things for several reasons. Um, firstly, it is great exercise for my hands um, because they are small dexterous pieces that you need to put together. So that is great therapy for my hands. Um, they're also not too big, the pieces that I have. So it doesn't mean that I'm going to be working for days and days and ending up frustrated and in pain. They're usually quite small niche pieces that I want to finish because I really like it and it's not going to take too long. So it's not going to hurt my hands too badly. Um, I just absolutely love this. I didn't even know these things existed. I kind of also want Father Christmas and Santa and the Mrs Claus for next year for Christmas. Um, but I absolutely adore this witch and uh, I'll pop some music on and let you watch the rest. <laughs>
anything rich. I just love her. I put all of the spare bits, literally everything, into the cauldron so it looks like she's got a potion brewing. She's got her little witchy hat on, which is so cleverly done. And I just, oh, I love her. I love her, I love her, I love her. Let me show you the back. No, oh, I've spilled the potion. It's the joys of doing it on a sofa. And there's the back. Okay, so this is our shelving unit in the front room. So up the top, Daryl's got his figurines, his Dungeons and Dragons dragons, his foot mi uh, his very large miniatures, his figures. Then we have a couple of shelves that we leave for each season. So we've got Christmas on here at the moment. And then this bottom shelf is mine. So I have the Lego Hans Christian Anderson book. So cute. I have the science kits. So I have the large skeleton. I have the science lab. I have the microscope and I have the astronomer. And they all came with different coloured hairs. So I removed all the blonde hairs and bought some red haired pieces. So we've got the brown, the darker red, the chestnut and then the bright red. And obviously I had to put a cat in there because it's me. Um, and then I have this Yoshi house piece as well because I do love my, uh, my Yoshi. So that's my shelf. I've also got a little dragon and a couple of witches. And then that little dragon was the first thing that my friend 3D printed, um, which he gave to me, which I thought was cute. I've got my pumpkin jack and my candle that I got for my birthday two years ago. I have over at the back OCD sweets because when I eat sweets I always eat them in colour order. So my friend put them in a jar in the order that I eat them. So I eat the red first, work my way down to the green because the green's the best. I also have my little penguin and my renter crowd, which I absolutely adore. I've had this for years. I think it's just so funny. I have my favourite poker cue, uh, poker cart, poker chip card cover. And then I have my stitch coin. My friends all went to Japan and so they bought me this stitch coin, which I thought was super cute. So, so 15th of the 4th, 2013. From all of us. Which is super cute. And then we do have two light up bottles, a purple myself and a blue for Daryl. So if I come back, that's our little shelving unit. And so I'm going to find a space for my witch on the bottom shelf and I will come back to you. And there we go. Pride of place on the shelf is our little witch. I absolutely adore her. She's so cute. So I've just put my other witches around her as if they are gathering ready to finish their potion and then you've still got all the other bits and pieces i may need to readjust some of this i might have to change the uh, candle to another shelf so that i can pop the witch in the back neater but we'll see after christmas and then because it is still the christmas season i have added this to the front just to uh, tie it in with all the other shelves so yeah love it Absolutely love it. So Storm Bella did hit us, but it was kinder to us than a lot of people, I know that. Um, a couple of loud bangs during the night was keeping me awake with the wind and the rain. So I went and had a couple of looks, but no damage thankfully. I hope you are all safe and didn't experience any issues with the storm. So I have an ingrown toe now, and um, my kitten, my kitten. I was doing a salt bath, even salt wash, salt soak, words, um, and my cat said to come in and drink it. She does like warm water, she drinks out of my bath sometimes. She's very strange. Hey guys, so I'm just finishing up a video for my other channel and I did something stupid. I got super glue on my finger. So on this hand I just have the tip of this finger. 
And on this hand, focus. There we go. So I have it all over that top bend and then the tip of this finger. I was trying to tidy it up with my blue tissue and it got all over my fingers. Don't get super cool on your skin. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I'm going to end it there as it's been a very busy week. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and Boxing Day and I'll see you next week. Loopy love. Bye.